Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's certainly good to be back out in the house of prayer one more time. Amen. It's good to uh, be in the household of faith mm -hmm. one more time and being in the presence of the Lord and also in the presence of the saints of God. Amen. Truly, it is good to be in your presence. That's what the Bible says, how good and how pleasant it is mm -hmm. for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yes. Amen. And we thank God that we are in unity on tonight. Our unity doesn't mean that we all think alike, Amen. but we all have the same purpose. Mm -hmm. We all have the same heart. And we uh, all want to seek after Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the common cause that draws us all together. Mm -hmm. And we certainly do thank God. If you think about it, uh, Christ is the common cause that brings people together from all walks of life, mm -hmm. from different areas, different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's the common cause. So we thank God that uh, there's one Lord and one faith and one baptism mm -hmm. and one uh, power mm -hmm. and salvation, and that is through Christ. Mm -hmm. So we want to certainly go through uh, to the Lord in prayer. Uh, remember those that are traveling over the highways and the byways and there, as uh, there is, uh, I can use the word I want to use, uh, uh, laying down restrictions, re uh, reducing restrictions, or easing restrictions, yeah. that's what I want to say. Easing restrictions. Let us pray. Pray for America. Let us pray for people everywhere. Amen. Amen. That uh, as they do that, um, we don't go back. Don't go backwards. Don't have a setback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let us pray for those that are traveling over the highways and byways, the grief, uh, bereaved families, and uh, pray for our Bible study on tonight. Mm -hmm. There's something to be said and done to encourage us, to inspire our hearts. Mm -hmm. Any other prayer requests? I just that with myself and my grandson to grow stronger. Yes. That we really do want to come out. Yes. Know? Right. That's not, that's not helping me at all. No. So, no. so just pray for us that we'll be stronger. Yes. And my husband is even asking. Yeah. He has uh, a dream. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. yes. So I just pray that you yes. know God keep on pulling on his heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on out. Be Amen. Amen. Dealing with his mind. Yes. Remember her sister Priscilla. All right. Remember Sister Priscilla in prayer. Amen. All right, we'd like to ask the church to stand and let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you and praise you for thank your you grace, Lord. your mercy, your loving, your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord, for being our good shepherd, thank you, Lord. the one that leadeth us and guides us into all truth. Yes. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you manifest your presence here on tonight. Lord, we ask you to send forth your grace and your glory, that you sanctify everything and everyone in the room. Hallelujah. That we'll lift up your holy and precious name. That we'll itemize and see uh, your greatness and your glory. The Holy Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you continue, Lord, to strengthen our hearts and our minds, our spirit, our soul, and our bodies. Bless each and every request that's been made known to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Blessed by your power, blessed by your might, blessed through the Holy Ghost anointing. We ask you, Lord, that you reign on us. Reign on us, Lord. Reign on us your power. Reign on us your grace. Open up our understanding, Lord. Help us to cleave unto you with a purpose in heart. And Father, we ask you, Lord, that you grant the door of utterance in the name of Jesus and grant ears to hear the engrafted word of God to the saving of our souls. Father, we thank you, we praise you, give you glory and honor in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We want to uh, go back to the latter part of Ephesians chapter number four. Amen. And we were dealing uh, with uh, kingdom authority. 
we were talking about a subject uh, that we've been dealing with out of the book of Ephesians. Uh, we've been dealing with kingdom authority, what the Lord has literally done for us. Amen. He has done some great things for us uh, so that we can uh, live holy, so that we can live right take advantage of what he has done so that uh, we can be the servants he's literally is calling for in these last and evil days. Mm -hmm. And we certainly uh, want to go to Ephesians chapter number four and um, want to have uh, Pastor Doug, if she'll uh, read for us out of verse 11, verse 11. And he gave some apostles, uh -huh. and some prophets, yes. and some evangelists, yes. and some pastors, mm -hmm. and teachers, yes. for the perfecting of the saints, yes. for the work of the ministry, mm -hmm. for the edifying of the body of Christ. All right, now we're talking about the Lord, as we were to read above, that he gave some gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, he said he led captivity captive, and he gave good gifts unto men. And those gifts where he was referring to is in verse 11. These are the gifts, the gifts that he gave to the body of Christ. And he's referring to um, uh, apostles. Uh, he gave some apostles, he gave some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Um, I don't want to extend the Bible class and, and, and going into great detail about their offices. Uh, but uh, the, the offices that he gave, uh, the apostles, they lay down the foundation of this gospel. They lay down the foundation of Jesus Christ. They were taught by him. So they uh, lay it down and give it unto us. Uh, Paul, in one of his, in, in this particular epistle, if we were to go to chapter number three, he talks about the mystery, amen, that, that was hid from ages past, but is now is revealed unto us. And that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's now revealed unto us. And, and they lay down that foundation. No other foundation can anybody else lay other than that which has been laid by Jesus Christ. And then Paul talks about uh, we knowing and, and uh, if you have heard and been taught of Jesus. And uh, a lot of us, we weren't around when Jesus was around. <laughs> Heck, you know, but, but, but we receive his teaching uh, through, through the Gospels and through the Apostles and, and through, uh, the, the, when I say the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And, and through the teachings of the Apostles, the letters of Peter, the letters of Jude and James, and, and the letters of Paul. Amen? Amen. And, and, and notice then, he gave some prophets, and these are New Testament prophets um, that, that reveal the future, that reveal what, what, what's, what time it is that we're going through now. Uh, part of the, uh, the revelation and, and what they have revealed not only the apostles, but also the prophets about uh, what's going to happen to the church, that we're going to be raptured, amen, that Jesus is going to come and snatch us away. Uh, those, those are part of the revelations and, and how we ought to uh, uh, walk in this present day dealing with uh, present day situations. Things were different way back when, when uh, uh, Ezekiel and and uh, Daniel and them were living. Mm -hmm. The times were different. Mm -hmm. But now the times are, are, have changed, so therefore they, these New Testament apostles or prophets, they receive information from Christ to tell us how to live in this present day. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. It's beautiful when you understand it. Yeah. And the evangelist, he gave some evangelists, and the, the role of the evangelist is to preach the gospel, but also to establish churches, to establish churches, New Testament churches, mm -hmm. amen, to plant churches. That's the role and the job of the evangelist, mm -hmm. to plant the churches. Mm -hmm. And then we come to the pastors, the pastors and the teachers. The pastors and the teachers' job and role is to stabilize the saints, 
to stabilize the body of Christ uh, through, through teaching, through shepherding, so that, so that we be no more children tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Amen? To stabilize our lives, to perfect our lives so that we can grow in him in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. That's it in a nutshell. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right, now notice, uh, verse, uh, verse number 12. What does that say? For the perfecting of the saints. For the perfecting of the saints. For the work of the ministry. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. All right, now this is the reason why that fivefold ministry was given. Amen. Anybody that operates in this fivefold ministry uh, are, are, is supposed to uh, operate toward perfecting the saints, meaning to mature them, to grow them. Uh, the, body, the, the body of Christ, the whole principle of God in Christ, and we're going to go there for a moment, uh, was that the church may grow into Christ, that we may grow into Christ. Mm -hmm. As you know that this is a learning process. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And, and he said, take my yoke upon you and do what? Learn of me. And he's really saying, grow in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm -hmm. um, that's why Paul used the analogy, don't be like children anymore. Amen. But uh, tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Mm -hmm. we, should, we should grow. We should mature. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, we should not be babyfied all day, all, all the time. <laughs> Amen? Amen. We should grow. That's the reasons why we have tests and trials. That's the reason why we have encounters with other people so that we can grow. That's why we come to Bible class and Sunday school and, 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 and prayer and have personal devotion. Amen? So that, that's why we were given the Holy Ghost. Amen? The Holy Spirit is there to lead you and to guide you into all truth so that you can grow. Amen. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me. Amen. Suffer the little children to come unto me. Be, and then it tells us to be as children. And when it says that, you got to know what it means. It means to have that open-mindedness. Amen. Have that pureness. Amen. Don't, don't, don't look down and don't, don't, and be easy to forgive. Amen. Children, they can fight and argue with one another, and then next five minutes, they play it like ain't nothing happened. <laughs> and that's what the Lord wants us to be when he teaches the, the chapter number four, uh, chapter number one. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians chapter number one, uh -huh. and drop down to verse, uh, uh, read verse number three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Now notice, God has already blessed us. Amen. He already did some work before we were even got here. Mm -hmm. He said he's already blessed us with all spiritual blessings yes. in heavenly places where? In Christ. in Christ. Everything you need is in Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. Everything. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, read. According as he hath chosen us in him uh -huh. before the foundation of the world, yes. that we should be holy uh -huh. and without blame before him in love. Now notice, this is what uh, that fivefold ministry is about. That fivefold ministry is about bringing us, when I say us, I was about to say you, but bringing us to this point. Amen. Uh, read first four again. According as he hath chosen us in him uh -huh. before the foundation of the world, yes. that we should be holy uh -huh. and without blame before him in love. This is what that ministry is about. That we should uh, uh, grow and mature to this. Amen. That we would be holy and without blame before God in love. This is, this is God's original plan for us. This is God's original plan for you. Amen. That's why he did everything that he did. Amen. When Sister Gilbert said uh, last week, uh, I kind of cracked up about it. She said, God gave us a lot of help. <laughs> Didn't he give us a lot of help? 
Amen. He gave us a lot of help. Amen. So that we can uh, attain unto this. So that we can be holy. Didn't he say, be ye holy for what? I am holy. Amen. So that we can be without blame. Uh, that's why he has forgiven us. That's why he has redeemed us. Amen. That's why he has, he has ordained us and given us the Holy Ghost. Amen. Uh, that's why he's given us water baptism. Uh, the blood of Jesus. That's why he has sanctified us, separated us, uh, given and told us to have a new mind and a, and a new heart. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that we can attain unto this. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So read as he is according as he has chosen us in him. We've been chosen in him. Uh, before the foundation of the world, God's original intent, God's original purpose. Amen. That we should uh, be holy without blame before him in love. Read. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children uh -huh. by Jesus Christ to himself. Yes. According to the good pleasure of his will. Now notice what he says. Having predestinated us. And that word predestinated, it means how God had made this firm beforehand. Amen. In other words, God had already established this beforehand. Before you were brought into this world... God has already established holiness and righteousness. Amen? And that, and that before you were brought into this world, he's already established that you should be holy. Huh? That you, as an individual, should be righteous. Huh? In Christ Jesus. You follow me? Huh? Any, in other words, anyone who accepts Christ, they fall under this guideline. You follow me? God, the Bible says God so loved the world, but the whole world ain't going to accept Jesus. Uh, but because you have been given a measure of faith and you have, have decided in your mind that I'm going to live for Jesus, you fall under this guideline of being holy, uh, of being righteous. You follow me? Hallelujah. By God. All right. Read what does he say? Having predestinated us. Unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ uh -huh. to himself, yes. according to the good pleasure of his will. Right, read. To the praise of the glory of his grace, uh -huh. wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Now you have been you have been made accepted in Jesus. Uh, when, I, when I said I said earlier, a couple of seconds ago, that 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 Christ came to the whole world. Uh, and the whole world is not going to receive him. But to those that receive him, then they fall under this mandate. Uh, they fall under this requirement. Mm -hmm. They fall under this uh, uh, living will, if you, if you will. Amen? That, 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 that you be uh, 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 adopted in the royal family. That uh, uh, according to the good pleasure of God's will. Amen? All right, read. What's it say? In whom we have redemption through his blood. Uh-huh. The forgiveness of sins. Yes. According to the riches of his grace. Now notice. Notice. I want you to take note of some words. Uh, salvation uh, deals with deliverance. Amen? Deliverance from what? Sin. Deliverance from sin. Yeah. Amen. The power of sin, mm -hmm. the effect of sin, mm -hmm. and 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 lastly, you're going to be delivered from the very presence of sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right now, we're not delivered fully uh, in in the sense of we still have sin around us. Mm -hmm. But sooner or later, when Jesus comes and snatches us away, we won't even have sin around us any longer. You follow me? Mm -hmm. So, but you've been delivered. Uh, from the, the power of sin. That when you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior and be filled with the Holy Ghost, you, you no longer, um, uh, 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 the sin has no more dominion over you. In other words, it should not reign over you. Even in your mortal body, it should not reign over you. You've been given power to bring every thought into obedience to Christ. Yes. Amen? Amen? 
Hallelujah. My God. Now notice what he said. Then, then, then read that again. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin, uh -huh. according to the riches of his grace. Now, when he talks about uh, we have redemption, amen, when the Bible talks about we've been redeemed, amen, uh, literally it means that you've been purchased uh, by, by the precious blood of Jesus and you've been set free. Amen. Set free. Set free from what? Set free from the power of sin. Set free from the obedience of sin. Huh? You follow me? And that word, that, that word is key. Amen. You're free from every penalty of sin huh? that you've committed in your life. You're free from it. Because huh? why? You've been redeemed. You've been set free. Huh? Whom the Son has set free is what? Free indeed. Amen. So, so you received a freeing from sin. And not only, I want to I get a little, I don't want to yeah, say it's deep, but I want to get, I want to hit it to where we can get it. That you've been free from all evil behavior, uh, all evil be, uh, uh, desires. Amen. Uh, you're free from that. Uh, hallelujah. You're free. Hallelujah. And when I say you're free, you're free. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I wish I could think of another word, but that's the word. <laughs> you're free. Yeah. Amen. Freedom. Thank you, Lord. You're free from, from sinful habits, from sinful behaviors. Yeah. Uh, the, the old man has been literally put to death. Uh, and when you came up out of that water, you came up a new man, mm -hmm. uh, resurrected from the dead. To walk now in the newness of life. Amen. Free. That's what, that's what he talks about when he says he has redeemed you. Uh, he has freed you. Free. Amen. Free me from behavior that is wicked and evil. <laughs> You're free from lying. Uh, the can't help it that we call it. <laughs> You're free from that. Uh, You're free. Thank you, Lord. You're free from any, any, anything that uh, could hold you captive and bring you under submission uh, uh, against the will of God. you free. Amen? Uh, notice what he says. Uh, uh, you have redemption through his what? Verse number seven. Redemption through his blood. And it comes through the purchase price of the blood of Jesus. Amen? Amen. That blood is precious, ain't it? Hallelujah. You have been redeemed, the Bible says, with corruptible things. No. But you've been redeemed with the precious blood of Jesus. Yes. Amen. And that blood, as we sing that song, will never lose its power. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Uh, uh, read, what's it say? One seven. Uh-huh. And whom we have redemption through his blood, uh -huh. the forgiveness of sins. Now, notice, we have forgiveness of sins. God has forgiven us of our sins. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. and, and, and there's a difference between redemption and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Amen? For, uh, redemption deals with setting you free. Mm -hmm. Amen? Uh, forgiveness of sins deals with God, God looking uh, beyond your faults. And he sees your needs through the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he forgives you of your offenses. Mm -hmm. Now, this is key. So, so, that, so that God at one time was angry with the wicked uh -huh. uh, uh, and wanted nothing but retribution upon them. Mm -hmm. uh, but when he forgave us, he released us from that, and now he wants nothing but peace mm -hmm. uh, in our lives. God, God, God is the Lord of Sabaoth, if you allow me. He's the God of peace. And restoration. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a change in relationship. Uh, people that you're angry with, you treat them one way. Uh, but, but when you forgive them, you treat them a whole nother way. Uh, uh, you don't want to destroy them. You want to see the best from them. Amen. You want to help them. Amen. And, and you hold no grudges. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. God has no grudge against us. Uh, when you're in Christ, he has no grudge against you. Uh, that's why he said, there is therefore now, uh, right now, no condemnation uh, to them that are in Christ Jesus. 
huh, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Huh, for the spirit of life, which is in Christ, huh, has made us free. Huh, once again, we're free from the law of sin and death. Huh, for what the law could not do, and that was weak through the flesh, God. Somebody say God. God sent his only begotten son. In the likeness of flesh, he condemned the sin in the flesh that God's righteousness, that the righteousness of God might be what fulfilled in us. Uh, somebody give God a praise. That's the power of forgiveness. That's the power when God forgives you. That's the power of forgiveness. Hallelujah. He wants to have peace with you. Yeah. Uh, he wants to deal with you, not as a bastard, but as a son. Yeah. Hallelujah. As a daughter. Yeah. Uh, as a child of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, so, so not only that, now he can bestow all of his grace upon you. He can bestow all of his goodness upon you. He can bestow all of his inheritance upon you. He can bestow all of his riches on you. He can bestow all of his wisdom, all of his knowledge, all of his understanding upon you. Because he doesn't look at you as an enemy. He looks at you as a friend. That kind of old son. And he will not withhold any good thing from his friend. That hallelujah. You need to tell somebody, I'm a friend of God. That kind of old son. I'm a friend of God. Through the blood of Jesus, I'm a friend of God. Hallelujah, that's why. Hallelujah, that we can come boldly to the throne because we're friends. He has redeemed us, set us free. Amen. And he he has he has forgiven us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for forgiveness. Amen. He released how you from the penalty. He released you from the penalty. Not that you were guilty. Uh, he knew you were guilty. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You standing on death row. Hallelujah. And he commutes your sentence. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Now notice, verse number seven, what does it say again? In whom we have redemption through his blood. We got redemption through the blood of Jesus. The forgiveness of sins. We have forgiveness of all of our sins. According to the riches of his grace. Now notice, all of this is done according to the riches of God's grace. Amen? The riches of God's grace. Which, as you know, his, his, his grace is unfathomable. Amen? It's past all understanding. You can't exhaust the grace of God. Amen? Amen? All right, now let's go back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's go back to four. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. So, so, so God, the plan of God in Christ was for us to have redemption through the blood of Jesus and the forgiveness of sins. So that the plan is that, that was for we to be holy. Amen? Without blame before God in love. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why he sent Christ to die on the cross for us. Amen. Not only that, but that's why Christ rose from the grave for us, Amen. manifesting that he has all power. Mm -hmm. That's why he's sitting uh, at the right hand of God, demonstrating his authority and power uh, that he has. And not only that, he shares that uh, authority and power with us because spiritually speaking, we're sitting in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Uh, hallelujah. We're seated with him. Yeah. Uh, a position of power. Yeah. A position of authority. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Uh, and then, then, then he says, far above principalities yeah. and powers. What he means by that is, is that, is that uh, as, as the scripture tells us, that, that, that principalities and powers, we above the rule of the devil. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah, my God. I feel like preaching here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We above the devil. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh, we're not beneath the devil. No, no. Uh, we're above him. Yeah. 
Amen. He has no power over us. Uh, he has no dominion over us. Amen. Uh, what we lost in Adam, we gained immensely in Christ. Uh, Y'all with me? Thank you, Lord. What we lost in Adam, when we came to Jesus, we gained that and more in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We were without excuse. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, 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 and the scripture says, don't cast away your confidence, uh -huh. huh, which has great recompense and reward. Yeah. Amen. Don't, don't, don't lose your confidence in what I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, just because situations and conditions may arise in your life, don't cast away your confidence, yeah. even though you may not feel like what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, on a daily basis. Hallelujah. Though, though you may look like you're losing some battles, you have never lost the war. I am kind of shot. Hallelujah, my God. Y'all with me? Huh? So don't cast away your confidence in what I'm saying. Don't cast away your confidence that is what is written in the scriptures. Huh? Because he says, you have need of what? Patience. That after you have done God's will. Huh? After you have fasted and prayed. After you have waited on God, after you have gone through to get to uh, your struggle, uh, you might receive this promise. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Uh, because God is not a man that he should love. Uh, God is so man that he should repent. Hallelujah. God, God ain't lying to you. <laughs> Come on, don't shout. God ain't repenting because of you. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. You got to hope until the end. Amen. And then, come, when you hope it until the end, it may not seem like you want to be where you want to be. So you got to hope against hope. Hallelujah. All right, let me move on. That's a whole other subject. <laughs> what verse we in, Pastor? Uh, 13. All right, we're in 13. Read that again. No, we were in 7. You had to go back to 7. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, go to... No, uh, we're in 4, right? Yep, 4. Okay, we, were in, we read 12. Yep, go to 13. Okay. Yeah, go to 13. So we come in... The oh, day. oh, I'm sorry, Pastor. Read, describe why the pastors and the teachers and the apostles and the evangelists were given. So that, so that God's, we can accomplish God's original plan, that we be holy, that we be without blame before him in love. Amen? Amen. And, and read the next part, part. For the perfecting of the saints. So that we can grow in Christ. For the Amen. work of the ministry. So that we can minister, uh, uh, mature in Christ. And notice what he says. For the work of the ministry. Now, that, those, those people that are there, uh -huh. uh, uh, they, that's a work. Amen. What I'm doing right now is a work. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's the work of the ministry uh -huh. to serve you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, these positions uh, in the body of Christ, uh -huh. they have power and authority, and the gifts ought to be respected, and the gifts are there to serve you. Amen. 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 So, so, so it's implied then that you receive the serving. Amen? Don't buck up against the teaching. Receive the doctrine. Amen? Amen. Y'all with me? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Don't, don't, don't strive against it. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your prophets. Pray for your evangelists and teachers. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? Wow. Because they're there for the work. Amen. For the work of the ministry. Paul said it this way. Huh? He said, he that desires an office of a bishop desires a what? A good what? Work. Amen. It's a work. It's a labor. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And, and, and the work and the labor is with you. Huh? Those that, that are in the body of Christ. You follow me? Uh, if you allow me to say it, uh, uh, if I was an artist, and I was painting on a canvas uh, and, and, and designing what needs to be on that canvas, uh, it, it would be you. Uh, you would be the canvas. Uh, I would be the artist. And what would I be drawing? Christ. Right. <laughs> on you. Yeah. 
Now Paul said, I travail in birth again until Christ be what? Formed in you. Now, that's the work of this ministry. So that Christ can, my God, feel like teaching up in here. So that Christ can be formed in you. How that you be that new creature with that new identity. But the identity really ain't new. It's Jesus. <laughs> Come on, shut. It's new to you because he's resided in you. Hallelujah. That's what you want. Huh? That's why he said, let this mind be in you. Which is also where? In Christ Jesus. In Jesus. In him we live. In him we move. In him we have our being. Huh? All to be like Jesus. All to be like Christ. I want, I want to have the love of God. I want to have the love of Christ. Um, that passes all understanding. Hallelujah. And that's what Paul meant Hallelujah, when he said uh, uh, for us to, to know the depths, the height, uh, the breadth, and the light. Uh, so that Christ can be revealed in us. That's the job. Ain't that a great job Amen. of this ministry? Hallelujah. To, to help you to know these things. Amen. That's how you grow. Amen. Go with me. Just over here to, to, uh, to chapter number three. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Whoop. Chapter number three. And just drop down uh, to verse 14. For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's talking about the work. Read. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Uh-huh. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Now that's the work of the ministry. So that you would be strengthened uh, with all might in your inner man, in your soul. Amen. That's a tall order, ain't it? Amen. That's Pastor Duck's job. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's my job. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's the prophet's job. Amen. That's the teacher's job. Mm -hmm. You got to let them do their job. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can be strengthened with all might. Huh? 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 Who don't want to be strengthened <laughs> with all might? Uh, I'm tired of being weak. Uh, I'm tired of being weak. Uh, I'm tired of being around weak folk. Hey, God, I'm all shut. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And what makes them weak is that they don't receive. They don't want to drink from the well that will never run dry. Hey, hallelujah. They don't want to receive of this word. Uh, and, and, and be not conformed, but be what? Transformed by the renewing of their mind. Uh, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That's a work, ain't it? Yes, it is. Hey, but it can't be done. If it couldn't be done, it wouldn't be written. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Ain't that beautiful? All right, read. What's it say? What verse is it? Ephesians 3, 17. Read. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Uh-huh. That ye being rooted and grounded in love. Now this is this is the job. This is this is your attainment. That Christ may dwell in your heart by what? By faith. faith. That you can be rooted mm -hmm. uh, and grounded in what? Yeah. In the love of God. Amen. Uh, that passes all understanding. Amen. If if this if 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 me being consumed with God's love. We ought to allow that to consume our minds. Yes. Yes. Amen. If we make that the main thing, let the main thing be the main thing, yes. uh, we'll see a change in us. Yes. Uh, you'll see some growth in us. Yes. You'll see some power among us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If we all operated under this love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read what he said. Verse 18. May be able to comprehend with all saints. Now notice, you got to be able to comprehend with all saints. Right. Uh, that's where the unity comes in. Amen. When the fivefold ministry is operating like it's supposed to operate in a church, uh -huh. and the people are operating like they are supposed to operate, you'll see unity. Yeah, right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's what unity is. Yeah. Right. Amen. Uh, uh, that's that, that word. My God, feels like leaping for joy. 
is because it is God's goal and desire. It's attainable for you. It's attainable for us. Imagine walking around all the time with the fullness of God. Amen? Being, nothing shall uh, sour you. Nothing shall affect you. Amen? To a point where it, it causes you to backslide. Turn right away from God. Doesn't mean you won't have feelings and emotions and won't be sad. God don't want stunted people around him. He wants people to feel. That's why he gave you emotions. Amen? But it's not a secondhand emotion. <laughs> Hallelujah. God, God, God wants you to love. Huh? God wants you to be loved. Amen? Hallelujah. But, but uh, uh, God doesn't want you to allow your feelings and emotions to dictate your behavior. Amen? People who think sad all the time, yeah, you're depressed. Why are you depressed? Because you think it's sad all the time. People that think, uh, walk around with a smile on their face, and, and why they walk around with a smile on their face? Why? Because they see the glass half full. Huh? Uh, they see opportunity in a crisis. You follow me? Thank you, Jesus. They're not Debbie Downer. <laughs> huh? And they're not hanging out with Debbie Downer. Huh? <laughs> All right. That's another Bible class. <laughs> right. Come on. Where we at, Pastor? 13. Well, the end of 12. All right, read. For the edifying of the body of Christ. Uh huh. Till we all come into the unity of the faith. Yes. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. Yes. Unto a perfect man. Uh huh. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Now, what verse was that? 13. 13. Now, that, remember I said that this is the goal of the fivefold ministry? Mm -hmm. And then you see some of that language in 13. Read that 13 again. So we all come in the unity of the faith uh -huh. and of the knowledge of the Son of God yes. unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, Pastor. Uh, I'm still on uh, three. Oh, you, you, still, you, no, we went back to four. Ah, I thought we went back. To, still, I, I wasn't done with three yet. No, we yeah, I still got some meat on there. Mm -hmm. Three eleven? Yeah. Uh, I mean, three um, 19. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. All right, that's okay. And to know the love of Christ, uh -huh. which passeth knowledge, that ye might be full with all the fullness of God. All right, read. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. No, no, notice. He's able to do all of this according to the power, which is that Holy Ghost, uh -huh. that works in you. Uh, it's, 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 it's a workman. Amen. It's a workman that brings forth the ministry. Uh, hallelujah. In you. Hallelujah. It's in you. Tell your neighbor it's in you. Uh, it's in you to live this way. Uh, it's in you to walk this way. Amen. It's ordained for you to walk this way. It's ordained for you to live this way. It's ordained for you to have faith and to believe God. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. All right, now let's go back over to four. All right, what verse we in in four, Pastor? 13. All right, read. So we all come to the, come in the unity of the faith. Now, this is the job of that ministry so that we can all come into unity. And unity only happens when everybody is doing their part. Amen? Amen. We went to that whole definition about harmony. When everybody is singing and doing their part, you'll have unity. A household, uh, a house divided against itself, what? Cannot stand impossible, right? Amen. When, when, and if, and if one person is pulling both loads, there's gonna be a breakdown. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. You can only do that for so much, yeah. Yeah. That's true. huh? You only can do that for so long, yeah. Yeah. huh? You have a breakdown. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. And 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 if 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 one person is doing two people's job, something is being. Uh, left undone. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. Huh? So, <laughs> she said something wrong. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. The, the job that I work on my secular end, 
Uh, it's a two-person job. I used to try to do it all. Uh, and when, when the guy was uh, uh, absent, you know, not there. Uh, but I realized, ah, uh -uh, Frank, you're killing yourself. Uh, you got, uh, they know that the individual ain't there, and if they know it's a two-person job. So something by nature of that definition is going to be left undone. You follow me? And that's, and, 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 and when, I ain't, I ain't making an excuse for it, but when stuff is left undone, stuff can happen. You follow me? Bad things happen. Follow me? Uh -huh. Same way with the body of Christ. When, when we're not doing our job, when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, bad things will happen. Mm -hmm. huh? Somebody's going to get left out. Follow me? Yeah. So in order to bring about unity, unity comes through harmony, which comes through me doing what God has assigned me to do. And not only that, but be faithful. Huh? Don't, don't be missing in action. Amen? Don't desert. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm talking now. Hallelujah. Be faithful. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. You can't, you can't let the church close up. Amen? You can't let the saints uh, die. Amen? You follow me? You uh, can't let the body of Christ be neglected. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's a sacrifice. God expects you to make a sacrifice. And it's not a true sacrifice unless it costs you something. Amen? Hallelujah. It's going to cost you something. Thank you, Jesus. My God. My God. And, and, and see, that's what brings about fullness. When you, when you hear this word that I'm teaching and preaching, here today, and you accept that, it'll bring about fullness. Mm -hmm. It'll cause you to grow. Right. And in turn, will cause the body to grow. Because yeah. you're a part of the body. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Amen? If you be weak and jelly back, uh, uh, um, what's the word I want to use? Double-minded, unstable in all your ways. Uh -huh. huh? what, what, what those around you that are in the body going to be? You follow me? Huh? But if you be strong, <laughs> hallelujah, and the power of his might, those around you will be strong. Amen? Fear begets fear, strength begets strength. Amen? That's why you see, I'm, I'm moving on. Lord, help me to move on. Uh, that's why you see in a crowd, well, uh, when you get in the crowd, people lose their identity. And, 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 and if, they, if they are charged up uh, and, and going after something, people will, will follow that. Uh, people that, that are timid and, and fearful. But if they're in a crowd and the crowd is uh, uh, being strong, they'll be strong. Amen? But if in a crowd, the crowd is fearful and afraid, they'll be afraid. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. My God, my God. Y'all with me? Amen. Perfect example. The children of Israel, uh -huh. uh, when they sent those spies over uh, to search out Jericho, mm -hmm. Canaan land, mm -hmm. uh, Tim uh, came back with an evil report. Mm -hmm. Joshua and Caleb came back with a good report. Mm -hmm. uh, they were outruled, overruled by the number. Mm -hmm. And that caused the others to be fearful. Mm -hmm. Follow me? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Y'all with me? Yeah. Be strong. Yeah. Mm? Get yourself rooted in ground. Yeah. Huh? Uh, wait on God. Yeah. Uh, trust in the Lord. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Huh? Grow up into him. Grow in him. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Into his fullness. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. See the love of Jesus. Yeah. Pray for the love of Jesus. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Go after the love of Jesus. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. All right. My God. I got to say this. I'm trying to move on. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. When, when you're going after these things, it's going, the thoughts that you have in your mind concerning it is going to be contrary. What I mean by that is this. You may say to yourself, 
Why should I treat this person with love and dignity and respect when they spit on me, talked about me, uh, and, and have no good for me? Uh, your mind is contrary. Uh, thank you, Lord. But you've got to trust the word uh, that's been put in you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you may not, you may not understand it. Mm -hmm. It ain't for you to understand everything. All right. But it's always for you to obey. All right. It's always for you to trust. All right. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. And that's what makes God proud. Yeah. See, when you do that, God turns the situation around. Mm -hmm. When you trust God, God turns the situation around. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. To wherein His Word says He'll cause your enemy to become your footstool. <laughs> um, not that you want the individual to become your footstool, but 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 you want uh, uh, to do the will of God. Amen. 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 That passes knowledge. That passes understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's move on. Where, where we at, Pastor? Fourteen. Fourteen. Read. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro. And carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. All right, now, that scripture is loaded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the, the goal of you being connected to the ministry, to the body of Christ, is to stabilize you. Amen? Mm -hmm. You don't run from church to church. You don't run from test to test. Huh? You follow me? You don't run from trial to trial. You follow me? You, you, you get yourself rooted huh? and grounded. You follow me? That's the, that's the purpose of the ministry. That's the purpose of the work of the ministry. So that you can be rooted and grounded. Stabilized in your mind. Amen. That's the battlefield. The enemy wants your mind. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, and what causes you to be stable is the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Amen. The gospel of oh, Jesus Lord. Christ. Lord. That's what causes you to be stable. Oh, Amen. On our, in our church up there on 31st Street, there was, there was a plant that was moving from, from looked like from one season to the next. It got rooted up and moved. I believe in one season it got rooted up and moved twice. And you know what happened to that plant? It died. Beautiful plant. But because it was moved and rooted up, died. Same way. Uh, if we allow uh, testing trials, every wind of doctrine, every nuance, Every, every new teaching, every new preaching, every new devil mm -hmm. uh, to try to take us to a new level mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not in Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, that's being tossed to and fro. Mm -hmm. Sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes level. No, God ain't like that. No, no. Uh, same. Same. Come on. Yes. Today, yesterday, and forever. Man, you should be the same here as you are at home. That's right. uh, on your job. No matter, you should have the same testimony. Uh, no matter where you are. Uh, I can ask your frenemies. Uh, how, uh, how is sister so and so? How is brother so and so? And, and, and they should say the same everywhere. Right. Amen? Amen? Stable. Right. You follow me? Right. Thank you, Lord. Now, I'm going to say this too because this is true. Not only, if, whoo, thank you, the Holy Ghost is working with me. Uh, if, he said, if you be stable in your spiritual life, you'll be stable in your natural life. Mm -hmm. Amen? That, that has to come first. That's right. No, no, you can't be stable in your natural life and then be unstable in your spiritual life. Yeah. That doesn't work that way. <laughs> doesn't work that way. What came first? The spiritual. Uh, then the natural. Yes. If you stabilize your relationship with the Lord, mm. it'll stabilize your natural relationships. Mm. Amen. 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 There's a lot of things I don't do because I'm walking with the Lord. Amen. I, I, when I said, well, let me back up. There's a lot of things I don't do naturally 
Huh? Uh, because I'm walking with the Lord. Right. Listen, I don't, I don't lie because I'm walking with the Lord. Mm -hmm. I don't steal because I'm walking with the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't do all those negative habits. Why? Because I'm walking with the Lord. Right. Amen? And because of not doing those negative things, it stabilizes my natural life. Y'all with me? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, following yeah, after yeah, Jesus, yeah. it should stabilize your natural life. Because yeah. I'm walking with the Lord, I pay my bills. Mm -hmm. That's right. Huh? Amen. Huh? And, and, and by reason, I don't get kicked out of the house. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Lights don't get cut off. That's right. You follow me? Yeah. Food on the table. Yeah. Huh? Natural life gets stabilized. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, you know, because um, uh, 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 stop being a night owl, huh? running, running to the nightclubs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How can I tell so? No, 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 no. Can I just talk for a minute? Sometimes I think, I said, well, what are the clubs out there now? Uh, uh, I know what we used to go to. I don't know what's out there now. But now I'm not trying to find out either. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, but, but that lifestyle is gone. So therefore, I'm at home at night, mm -hmm. huh? avoiding drama. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Uh -huh. I'm at home with my wife, mm -hmm. huh? so I don't have no extras. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 and because I'm following after Christ, I don't put my pos myself in a position mm -hmm. huh? to have extras. Right. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It make a difference. About who you hanging out with. Right. Huh? It makes a difference of who you lend your ear to. The right. Bible says, don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Yeah. Huh? Don't stand in the way of sinners. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Don't sit in the seat of the scorn. Yeah. Amen. But what he says, he teaches you this, but to allow you, uh, 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 let your delight be in the law of God yeah. and in God's law, yeah. his word, which establishes his kingdom within you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. That's beautiful, ain't it? Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what brings stability. The Word of God. Yeah. What brings stability and power is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you don't be a child tossed to and fro. Right. You need teaching. Yeah. You need a pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. You need an evangelist. That's right. You need to hear the apostles. Yes. Uh, right. You need a prophet. Yes. Come on here, somebody. Yes. Uh, you need it. Amen. You need the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. You need Christ. Yes. Uh, and, 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 and don't fool yourself. Uh, uh, you need somebody to operate your ministry on. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You need somebody to help perfect your harmony. <laughs> y'all with me? Y'all just tell what I'm saying. Yeah. We help us one to another. I need you. You need me. Huh? We need each other. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Hallelujah. I need you. Thank you, Lord. All right. Where we at, Pastor? My God. Let me move on. 14. You want to read it again? Yeah, read that again. Thank you, Pastor. Let me henceforth be no more children. Huh? Don't be no more children. Tossed to and fro. Uh huh. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. Now notice, God does not want you to be carried about with every wind of doctrine. He wants you to know the truth. Mm -hmm. The truth shall set you free. Right. Amen. That doctrine that you should study is the doctrine of, of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, I'm going to say this. This is kind of controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. I ain't scared. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. God would not be upset with you if you knew more of the New Testament than you did the Old. Because we're living in the New. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, read. What's that? By the slight of men All right. and cunning craftiness. <laughs> Whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Now, now uh, that slight of men is is uh, basically people paying tricks on you. People will try to play tricks on you, and if you don't know the word, you'll fall for it. Mm -hmm. 
That's the slight of men. When you see uh, that, think of uh, thing in the middle and they're switching them all up. That's what this is talking about. In your face, uh, they they playing tricks on you. Amen? Uh, there's another term. Y'all probably heard this term, uh, gaslighting. Uh, and that term means, basically it means uh, uh, I got this paper on my face, and you, I say, what's on my face? You say, a piece of paper, and I say, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. This ain't no paper in front of my face. Uh, that's called gaslighting. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm in, in front of you doing wicked stuff and trying to make you look like you crazy. <laughs> you got to watch out for folk. Uh, 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 make you think you crazy. That's true. Uh, Thank you. That's called gaslight. That's called craftiness. Uh, uh, and the slight of men being trickery. You know, always got a scheme in place. You, you, you can't have a decent conversation with them unless they're trying to get what you got. Uh, and some folk is smooth. They know how to cut your throat easy. Uh, got, got, got all your goods. And then when they're gone, you be like, what did I just do? What did I just say? You follow me? You gotta watch out for folk like that. Mm -hmm. All right, read. What's that? By the slight of men and cunning craftiness, uh -huh. whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Read. But speaking the truth in love. Now notice, he said, you gotta speak the truth. He's talking to these these gifts. Amen. Uh, uh, speak the truth. How? In love. In love. Amen. And that's what I'm doing tonight. Speaking the truth in love. Here read. May grow up into him. Now notice. He wants you to grow up into Christ. Amen? Last year you was here, but now this year you up here. You grew. Amen? How did you grow? By laying aside every weight uh, and the sin that does so easily beset you. How did you grow? By being obedient uh, to what you've been taught. Following it, putting into practice what, what thus saith the word of God. That's how you grow up. Amen? Amen. Read. May grow up into him uh -huh. in all things. In everything, be, whether it be natural or whether it be spiritual. Read. Which is the head, uh -huh. even Christ. Even Christ. Who's the head? Christ. Christ Jesus. Read. What verse you in? 16. Read. From whom the whole body fitly joined together. All right. Now the whole body is that harmonious uh, uh, joining together. Read. And compacted by that which every joint supplies. Uh, now, I, I need what you got, and, and you need what I got. Every joint supply of strength. Amen. 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 Don't fool yourself. I need you. Uh, and you need me. Uh, we need each other. God designed it that way. Amen. Amen. No man is an idol. No. No. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I read. According to the effectual working in the measure of every part, uh -huh. make an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Now notice, now, see, this is beautiful, uh, what Paul said. Read that again, Pastor. From whom the whole body fitly joined together. All right, now the whole body is fitly joined together. And compacted by that which every joint supplies. Now notice, every joint supplies, read According to the effectual working in the measure of every part. Now notice, according to the effectual working of every part, according to the gifts that God has given you of every part, every assignment that God has given you, every anointing that God has given you, read. Make it increase. And now notice, right there, make it increase. Amen. What he's saying is, is, is that gift in you, when you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, you increase uh, the body of Christ. You strengthen me. Huh? I strengthen you. When I'm utilizing my gift, when I'm walking with God, huh, I make increase. I don't take away from. Huh? I increase the anointing. Huh? I increase the wisdom and the knowledge of God around us. Amen. I increase the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Y'all with me? Amen. Now, let me say this. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I never really saw it 
like this, the way I'm seeing it right now and understanding it as I understand it right now. I have gone to churches wherein uh, the, the wisdom and knowledge of God is off the chain. Uh, the, the understanding that the saints of God have is literally off the hook. Uh, and I often wonder to myself, Lord, and then I go to other churches and, and they, don't, they don't have that. Amen. They don't have the wisdom and knowledge of God. They like babies stumbling around. Huh? And, and this is why. Because that church that is off the chain, that was spewing out with wisdom and knowledge, those people have given themselves. They have, they have strengthened one another. They have encouraged one another. They have ministered to one another. Huh? They have given to one another. Wherein they have increased one another. Uh, Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Hallelujah. Those that are, are a church that is weak and stumbling, uh, those people are devouring one another, right. eating up one another, yeah. uh, 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 not helping one another, yeah. right. not encouraging one another. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. There's a great difference. Yeah. Hallelujah. People can come to our church and they can feel the love of God. I've heard people say that. I feel the love. I feel the spirit of God. Why? Because there's some love going on. Yeah. There's some spirit and there's some anointing happening. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Y'all yeah. with me? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the, the issue with our church is, is people being steadfast huh, and unmovable. Amen? You've got people that, that, that are in our church that, that, that are not consistent. Amen. And the reason why they're not consistent is because they haven't given themselves to the word of God and have uh, taken on their assignment to be faithful unto death. Uh, you got to be faithful unto death. No matter what goes on, uh, I'm going to do what God says do. I'm going to be faithful. Amen. I'm going to be supportive. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all with me? Thank you, Jesus. And that, and that, and that comes through that comes through uh, coming to Bible study. Right. Uh, that comes through being up under the word. Yeah. That comes through right. praying. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, and not only that. Not only that. That comes to socializing outside of these four walls with one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Oh, I, if I want to know you, I got I to gotta sit down and have a cup of coffee with you. Huh? And talk to you sometime. Yeah. Huh? Uh, and it ain't all about... Uh, uh, well, what the Bible lesson said, it's about, well, what's going on in your life? Huh? Uh, what's, 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 now see, I'm, I'm about to teach up in here. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And, and, and you say, well, you know, sometimes, you know, and this is our conversation we have. You know, sometimes um, I can't, I, you know, I want to come to church and my, my children act up sometimes. Well, what's your children doing? Uh, well, you know, um, they they always running around, you know, all hyper and stuff, you know, and, and climbing the walls. But what you feed them? Oh, well, you know, I give them a little cake, I give them a little ice cream, you know, for dinner, you know, and all of this and that. And then by, by you having some wisdom, huh, you can say, well, you know, you, you shouldn't give them all that cake and candy and ice cream, you know. That's disturbing them. See, see now you have you have you have brought about in a natural a conversation wherein you can help that individual not only naturally but spiritually. Right. You follow me? Right. Because if he or she get that under control, then they can come to church. Right. You follow me? But if, but if you never spent time with them, uh -huh. you wouldn't have known that was going on and, and God gives you answers. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm teaching up in here. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why every joint supply of strength. Yeah. We help one another. Yeah. Not only naturally, but spiritually as well. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. My God. All right, where we at, Pastor? 16. You want me to read it again? Yes. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies, uh -huh. according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, Maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. All right, so we are to edify ourselves in love. Mm -hmm. Now Paul is about to shift. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's about to shift in verse 17. Mm -hmm. 
based on everything that God has done for us and our position in Christ Jesus and his, the mandate for us to live holy. It gives us wisdom, power, and knowledge and understanding to combat the works of the flesh. Amen? Thank you, Lord, to tell us what we all to be. Amen? So Paul, throughout the rest of this chapter, he's literally giving negative commands, and he's going to give some positive commands. Amen? Why? Because, go oh, just read, read 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, I know if you are in Christ, he is a new creature. You are a new creature, which means you are a new creation. Brand new. Somebody say brand new. Brand, new. brand spanking new. <laughs> hey! hey! Hallelujah. Brand new. All old things have gone away. Behold, I'm new. If any man be in Christ, so he can, we can do his will. Amen? Amen. When, I was, when I was a young saint, I had this one car. I love that car. <laughs> and I watch that car every day. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And, and I'm driving it around, uh, thinking about going to pick up my wife. She had one of her babies. I don't know which one she had. But she had one of them. And I'm on my way to pick the baby up. And you know, and uh, I told her about the car. And then I'm driving. And then I'm coming across... Uh, uh, Sassafras. Going, I'm going off 11th Street, and there was a light there. And I, if I would have bet, I bet. Listen to me. <laughs> I would have, I would have, I would have 
uh, uh, argued up and down that that light was green. Mm -hmm. huh? But they said that light was red. Mm -hmm. uh, I went through that light, huh? tore up my car. Mm -hmm. The guy hit it, and if you were to look at it, uh, you would say somebody died in it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but that was God. Mm -hmm. uh, I was giving too much attention to that thing. Mm -hmm. Being young in the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, God, God had to gain my attention. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Thank you, Lord, and and cause me to, to 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 let that go so I can get more of Him. You follow me? It was a stumbling block, huh? and God took it away from me. You follow me? Because I was ignorant. I was I was foolish. You follow me? I was a child, childish thinking. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So so so, so. He got to do that now. If God want my attention, he just say, Frank. I say, yeah, Lord. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. If he wants your attention, say, Louise, uh, Elois. Yeah. Huh? You, you be, like, be like Samuel. Hear my Lord speak. Yeah. 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 You ain't got to put a knot on my head. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. All right, now, ooh, Jesus, Lord have mercy. Read, what verse we in? Well, you, you went to second verse. Oh, let's go back over to the other. Oh, jeez. 17. Yes. Okay, go ahead, Pastor. This I say, therefore, uh -huh. and testify in the Lord, yes. that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understand, their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart. All right, now notice. He said, based on the fact that God wants you to live holy and righteous, he gives a command. He says, therefore, I, 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 this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. Mm -hmm. All right? That's a command. Right. He's commanding you that. Huh? Don't, don't be like the world. Mm -hmm. Don't be like the Gentiles. Don't, and that walk means live your life. Amen? Huh? And in the vanity of their mind. Uh, that's, that's the foolishness of their mind. The, uh, when I say foolishness, I mean that, 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 that state of mind that is uh, conceited, selfish. Amen? Amen? You can't be selfish over here. No. Can't be conceited no. over here. No. Can't be stuck up over here. No. Amen. <laughs> All right, read. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God, uh -huh. from the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Now, this is what we used to be. We used to uh, be in darkness. We used to uh, have our life alienated uh, through the ignorance that was in us. You follow me? Mm -hmm. And because of of the blindness of our heart. Mm -hmm. and, and what changed that was the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. when, when God reveals his word to you and in you, it makes you no longer ignorant. Mm -hmm. right. Amen? Right. You are light now. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Hallelujah. You're wise mm -hmm. unto salvation. Uh, you don't walk around in darkness. Amen? Amen? You're not foolish any longer. So don't be foolish. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. All right, read. 19. Uh -huh. Who being past feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness uh -huh. to work all uncleanness with greediness. What he's saying here, he's, he's talking about that old life. Mm -hmm. uh, don't be like this no more. Make a change. Mm -hmm. right. He says... Who being past feeling, they don't care. Mm -hmm. You can't live your life like you don't care. Mm -hmm. Do anything to anybody. Say anything to anybody that you want to say. Mm -hmm. Amen? Being past feeling, giving themselves over to lasciviousness. And lasciviousness is, just for the sake of us, here is evil, lustful desires. Amen? Mm -hmm. And, it, and it, uh, it's, it's morbid. <laughs> Evil, lustful desires. Mm -hmm. uh, to work all uncleanliness and what? With what? Greediness. Greediness. That means you go after it. Yep. 
You follow me? Can't, can't get enough. Y'all heard that song? Well, y'all hear that song. <laughs> Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Clean me up, Lord. Thank <laughs> you, Oh, my God. All right, where we at? 20. Uh, but you have not so learned Christ. Uh, now, notice, you haven't been taught him. Remember, that goes back to that fivefold ministry. You live what you have been taught. Mm -hmm. you, you live what you've been taught and what you have received. Mm -hmm. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. one Lord. Amen. That word hear means to hear with the intent to learn and to obey. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You live out what you have received. Mm -hmm. Let me say this. Yeah. That you have well-intentioned preachers, well-intentioned pastors that because of whatever reason haven't had the full knowledge or understanding of the scripture and they have, may have taught you some things that were wrong. But they were well intended. You follow me? Right. And, and has handcuffed you, so to speak. Yeah. I, I've been there. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. They were well intended. Mm -hmm. uh, but you've got to walk in the light. Right. Uh, as you see the light. Right. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm teaching up in here. Yeah. Uh, you got to free yourself uh, from, 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 from teaching that has been well intended, but, but it happened to grow. It stopped you from moving. But it got you in bondage. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And, and don't blame them. Uh, forgive them. Uh, but that's it. Come on, preacher. <laughs> Move on. Move on. Move on. That's right. Yeah. We've been under, uh, you can have been under some teaching where it taught you holiness and righteousness, but didn't teach you how to live holy and righteous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Just just put a whole lot of handcuffs on you. Yeah. Right. Uh, but didn't teach you how to live this thing yeah, through love. Hey, hey, Amen. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta let the Holy Ghost lead you so that you can rightly divide the word of truth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Right. Uh, Hallelujah. The Lord, the Lord gave us some examples in that. Yeah. David, uh, he was hungry and he went and ate some shoe bread that he wasn't supposed to eat. That's right. Uh, but it was only meant for the priests. Uh, and they tried to get on him, uh, 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 Jesus, for his disciples. Uh, for what they were doing. Yeah. And, and Jesus brought it back to what David did. That's right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And, and God, don't get me wrong, we should never break God's commandments. Mm -hmm. but, but, but if he didn't eat, he was going to die. Right. Right. Amen? And God, see, that goes to the intent of the word of God. Right. That God never intended us to die. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So, so God gets leeway. Huh? Huh? God, gives, God gives room. Right. Amen? Right. Mm -hmm. Now, a week by the person would say, well, Pastor, you teach me. We have room for sin. I have room for commitment for education. No! no. no. I'm not saying that. No. Hallelujah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. My God. My God. We got we to gotta, we gotta be able to. I don't even know why I'm all right.
That means you got to deal with the spirit. Yes. According to the word of God. Yes. A lot of times we go out and we we hear the word and don't have a complete knowledge, don't have the spirit of knowledge, of the spirit of the word. Yes. So we got to try to do it according to the will. Mm -hmm. And then if you let if you if you uh, meditate on it, yes. God, what is will? Then He'll let you know. He'll That's let you what know. You can see with, with the spirit eye. Yes. You're supposed to do. So when you mention uh, hearing, yes. you hear. You know, you have to hear according to the Spirit of God. Yes. And that you mentioned it in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost leads you. That's right. And guides you. That's right. And you. So you got to have a relationship with the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Your relationship with the Holy Ghost is important. you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, you say no matter what you do. Now notice, this is command. 
It's not a suggestion. He says, stop lying. Yeah. Tell somebody, stop lying. Stop lying. Yep, stop lying. Yeah. Amen. Put it away. Right. Don't lie no more. Right. Well, how do you overcome not lying? Don't lie. Right. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Huh? Yeah. Right. Do I got to pay and fast to stop lying? No, just stop. day fast. Uh, I ain't got to ask for a special revelation. I got to do it. Stop lying. Tell the truth. Uh, read. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. Uh, now speak truth with your neighbor. But we are members one of another. Now we are part of the body. I got to be able to trust you. You got to be able to trust me. Amen. If What if I do you dirty? We in the body of Christ. I do you dirty. Mm -hmm. Will you be able to trust me? No. 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 You you act you act you act deceitful with me. Right. Huh? And right. and you may not even know I know. Mm -hmm. Right. Huh? What they gonna do to my mind? Now you put a burden on me. Where I gotta go and ask God to help me to forgive you right. for your foolish action. Right. Uh, now I gotta. Ask God, God, give me some more grace. Give me some more grace. Come on. Give me some more grace. Uh, now you put me in that position. Right. Where if you'd have just been honest with me, I, I, I could have been free. Right. Now I don't know about you, but sometimes when folk hurt me, it cost me some sleepless nights. Yeah. Yeah. I, it cost me that I'm tossing and turning. Yeah. I'm thinking in my own mind, well, how am I going to confront this individual and tell them this and that? You know what I mean? And, and causing me some unrest. Yeah. Right. You follow me? Why? Because of their foolish action. Right. See? Y'all with me? Yeah. Right, huh? At the same time, you're growing up. Growing up? <laughs> That's true. Because God is competing. He's, he's putting something in you. Yes. You know, to be able to deal with the wrong that has been against you. Absolutely. Yeah, so you're growing. You don't realize Don't that realize it. Time. Yeah. I'm a giant. You look back. <laughs> I'm a giant. You know what? God has given you something special. Yeah. He gives you something special. Yeah. special. And you don't realize it at that time. That come on, Sean. Just keep fighting. Yes. Keep fighting that thing. And keep yes. And keep fighting it. And keep enduring. You'll see it. Yes. And overcome it. And you overcome it. And you'll see it. You'll see what God has done. Yeah. And how he has yeah. done it. And how you're growing up. Now, you can be angry. Anger is an emotion. Amen? You can be, if you don't, if you don't get angry over some things, you won't change some things. Amen? But you got to control your emotion. Amen? God gets angry. Uh, but he controls it. The pain from the anger causes the change. Wow, I like that. I like that. You hear what she said? The pain from the anger causes the change. Amen. I like that. Go ahead. What helped me to, to be able to deal with anger in my life and not sin? Uh huh. The Bible says Jesus got angry. Yes. And I read that in the in the Bible when, when the people made Jesus angry in the temple. Yes. So, but he didn't sin. No. He still loved the people. Still love. So, and that helped me a lot to, to be able to control me. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So there's never an opportunity or time for a child of God. To sin because they're angry. That's right. That's not an excuse. Amen. Amen. I was talking to a lady the other day, and uh, she said it about three times in our conversation. How you know she got these problems, and the reason why she got these problems is because the death of her brother. And I said, mm -mm, "You're trying to have a pity party over this." So, so I stepped out. I said, "You know." I'm sad that your brother died, but you can't use that as an excuse for your behavior. Right. Huh? Right. Because there's consequences for your behavior. Right. You follow me? We can't use our past huh, as excuses for our behavior. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. There's consequences for that. Right. Am I right? 
Thank you, Jesus. All right, read it. <laughs> you, you may say, God, I did it because of this and that, but you still going to get your comeuppance. <laughs> he may forgive you, but you still going to get your, 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 your straightening out from God. All right, read I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead, Pastor. <laughs> Be ye angry and sin not. Be angry but sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Now note, right. don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Right. Now, what he's saying here is, uh, uh, this is deep here, that you've stepped out of the will of God. you become wrathful. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. And he's saying, get it right before you go to bed. Father, yes. get it right before you go to bed. Father, mm -hmm. read. Now to give place to the devil. Now, don't, don't give opportunity to the devil. Don't give place to him. Don't, don't, you know that you watching certain movies uh, causes you to react a certain way. Don't watch the movies. Don't give place to the devil. You know talking to so-and-so causes you to act a certain way. Right. Don't talk to so-and-so. Right. You follow me? Y'all yeah. 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 with me? Yeah. Don't get placed. You know certain thoughts lead you down a rabbit hole mm -hmm. and it's going to take you weeks to come up out of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't go down that hole. You may not go down that hole. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't get place. See what I mean? Don't give an opportunity. Yeah, no. Sister? I have a question. Uh-huh. You can be angry with sin, can't you? Oh, yeah. You're supposed to be angry with, with sin? Yeah, yes. Like, if you, like you don't like it? Or right. You, like you suppose? Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, in the book of Romans, in Hebrews, I believe it's Hebrews chapter 1 or 2, uh, the Bible says that Jesus hated iniquity, but loved righteousness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says, hate sin with a perfect hate. Mm -hmm. Amen. Good. All right, what do you have, Pastor? I'm trying to finish up this chapter. Yeah. That's why we extended. Y'all can give it for a minute. Okay. okay. All, good. All, good. Uh, all right, go ahead. Now notice, he says, stop stealing. Now notice what he and he got he give you an answer. He give you the, the negative, now he's gonna give you the positive. Uh -huh. Let him that steal no more. Stop stealing. Read. But rather let him labor. Uh, now go to work. That's right. That's the answer. Working with his own hands. If you ain't got it, go to work. Right. You don't work, don't eat. That's simple, ain't it? That's as simple as one plus one. <laughs> Uh, go to work. Get you a job. Amen. Amen. God, God will bless you with a job. Amen. He'll open up the door for you. Amen. Won't he? Yeah. Uh, he don't want you to go around here stealing. Because you represent him. Amen. He don't want you to go around here lying. You represent him. Amen. He don't want you blocked off. You, you, nobody can't say nothing to you. You get so angry. Uh -huh. Red in the face. Right. Uh, I'm dark skinned. You can't see if I'm red in the face. But just Jackie and Pastor Duck, boy, they, and, and, and Sister uh, Cece, y'all last skin. We can see y'all turn red. Uh, turn red! Get upset and angry. Steam coming out your ears. Uh, no, God don't want that. Uh, read. What's that? Working with his hands the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that need it. Amen. Now, no. He said, work. Uh, don't steal. Work with your own hands, and you'll have an abundance when you can be able to bless other people. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Read. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Now, stop cussing. Okay. No. Huh? <laughs> stop. Stop it. Right. Stop cussing. Right. Uh, stop telling dirty jokes. Corrupt stuff yeah. coming out of your mouth. Right. Amen? Yeah. 
Stop gossip. change it. Some stuff I did in my life that, that was not connected, when I was not connected to the body of Christ. I feel bad about it. Sad. Follow me? Grieve. Don't grieve on the hills. Amen. Go to those got feelings. Amen. Read. What was that? 31. Uh-huh. Command. Yeah. 
Get rid of bitterness. Amen. Mm -hmm. Bitterness can be a root yep. that will spring up yep. and it can trouble you. Bitterness comes from rejection. Yes. Follow me? Uh -huh. And when people are rejected, they build a wall around themselves, mm -hmm. isolate themselves, and that's what allows the bitterness to grow. Mm -hmm. Follow me? Yeah. Get rid of bitterness. Don't be bitter. Bitter, bitter, bitter. All right? Now notice, what happens? A lemon. A lemon is a fruit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What happens when you eat of that fruit? You get a what? Bitter taste. Bitter taste. You being a fruit, don't be a lemon. All right. All right. Amen? Amen? Because the fruit of the Spirit dwells in you. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen? Amen? Don't produce bitter fruit. Father, yeah. people got to eat your fruit. And don't try to dress it up. I'm just saying this to help you. <laughs> you know? Don't be the uh, one, one, one man, he showed me something. This is my first pastor. He said, he said, beware uh, uh, a, a dog that bring you a bone, they'll take one away. And I said, what do they mean? And then, 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 then he hit me. If, 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 if you dog, you bring a bone to me, say some gossip to me. You're going to take some gossip about me mm -hmm. uh, to somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Traitors. Mm -hmm. Wow. You get a little wow. Yeah. <laughs> Cut them down. Traitors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be loyal. Yeah. Right. Be faithful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Trustworthy. Trustworthy. Yeah. Honest. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's what you want, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of you. All right, read and, and evil speaking, uh -huh. be put away from you with all malice. Uh -huh. we we'll put away all malice. Malice is is when I'm 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 doing stuff to you to to harm you mm -hmm. intentionally. Yes, right. Yes. That's malice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Read. And be kind one to another. Now see now the 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 negative command was all of that. Mm -hmm. Now here comes the positive command. The and positive be, command is what? And be kind to one another. Now be kind to each other. One to another. Yeah, one to another. Each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you be kind to me, I'll be kind to you. Mm -hmm. That's brotherly love. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Pastor, I mean, uh, uh, sister. But I have to be kind to you whether you're kind to me or not, right? Absolutely. Not right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. It's true. So it's not that if, if, if you're kind to me, I'm kind to you. You can I can be so unkind to you. 
Mm -hmm. You still have to be kind to me. Absolutely. If it's possible. Yep. I want to live peaceably with all men if it's possible. Yeah, but so sometimes but, you just have to leave a person alone. That don't but, mean you're but, not kind. Yeah, but still yeah, be. I didn't say you, you gonna always yeah, be kind. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, still, but still be kind to. Yeah, that's that's it. Supposed that's to be it. In, in you. That's it. I hope yeah, that's yeah. it. Amen. The principle here, though, that he's making is that 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 philos, mm -hmm. that it's reciprocal. Mm -hmm. uh, you be kind to me, I'll be kind to you. Right. You know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. But regardless, though, like you said, if you're not kind to me, uh -huh. I, I overrule it. I still be kind to you. Because you're only going to get paid for what you do. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and you know what? If we think about it, we got too much to lose. Yeah, too Amen. Much. That's right. Amen. I can't lose out on that. Uh, Sister Jackie, you forgive me. I know you got to go. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to get my phone stuff ready. We're on the last one. This is all oh, the okay. Time. Okay, okay. Go ahead. And be kind one to another. Be kind one to another. Tender hearted. Be what? Tender hearted. Tender hearted. Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. You ever, you ever uh, know anybody that got a tender, they call it a tender head? Uh -huh. You're trying to comb yeah. their head, yeah. and, and they got a tender head. Uh -huh. And so, what do you got to do with those kind of people? Be gentle. Yeah. Come on, CC. Yes, yes. Be gentle. Yeah. Amen. Right. That's what he's saying to us. Yeah. You know people are tender. Uh, yeah. Be gentle to yeah. Right. Yeah. Be tender hearted to yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, that kind of love go a long way. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Soft answer turns away wrath. Right. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, read. Forgiving one another. Now note. This how this is a command. Anxiety, mm -hmm. cancer, yeah. upset stomach, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. Come from unforgiveness, mm -hmm. sleeplessness, mm -hmm. huh? When you uh, when you don't forgive a person, you're harboring a lot of stress. Stress, stress. It's very stressful. Stress. Not forgive. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know because and, and that's how you're harming yourself. Yes. Never thinking anything. Wow. Yeah. And what what part of the body does stress affect? The mind. The mind. Mm -hmm. And your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Your heart. Mm -hmm. Which controls your lungs, mm -hmm. your kidneys. Mm -hmm. All of that. Ain't that something? Yeah. yeah. Just because I, I'm a man with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm letting you beat me down. Yeah. And you ain't even touch me. Yeah. Killing yourself. <laughs> right. Killing myself. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because I won't forgive. Yeah. Read. Forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. All right. Now he said, even, this is the pattern. Uh -huh. We got to follow the pattern. Right. He said, even as God, for whose sake? Christ's Christ. Christ sake. Mm -hmm. You got to forgive people for Christ's yes. sake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? Amen? Forget about you yeah. for Christ's sake. Right. Thank you, Lord. Amen? Amen. God did it for Christ. You got to do it for Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. You say he, you his. That's it. All right. Y'all with me? Yes. I enjoyed this Bible study. I did too. Thank you, Lord. Yes. So, so, in a nutshell, what he's just saying is, is that all of chapter 1, 2, and 3, and half of uh, uh, 4 is dealing with the new person. What God has done for us, where we're seated, what power we have, what God's expectation of us is. And because of all of that, we do the rest of, of this chapter, chapter number four. He's given us power to do it. Amen? Amen. All right, let's give God a praise. I thank God for you. Come on in, brother. I thank God for everybody, and may God bless you and heaven smile upon you.